Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think you deserve an explanation of why I've been missing. It's pretty much like this. I was just having too much of a great time. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's been a whole week since I've posted. It wasn't intentional, it just happened. Apparently, all I see in this title is Neek, Carmen cheating king. I must have missed all the drama, but here I am because I'm about to sip on that motherfucking tea. Okay, so Martin Lewis Resurrected posted a video called Neek Exposes Carmen for Cheating with King and more tea. All right, you guys, I'm ready to react. I ain't gonna wait no longer. Are y'all ready? Because I am. Let's get it. Okay, you're not gonna believe what Nick said about Carmen, guys. We're gonna get into that later in this video. Not only that, Chris South has a new son, apparently, and a YouTube apparently is missing. I know I've been covering Italia for- Okay, so I guess he's gonna cover more than just that. So I'm down for it. Okay, let's see. Now, now how she is allegedly pregnant with Chris Cell's baby. It wasn't long ago that Chris Cell wanted this girl to have an abortion. But anyway, she ended up having the baby. She posted a picture covering the baby's face, respecting um. the baby's privacy. She posted saying, we outdid ourselves with this one. I ain't even gonna lie. Happy birthday, baby boy. Artist Christian Sales. Apparently, Christian. So the baby's name is Artist. Ooh, I like that name. Great choice. Commented under that saying, Welcome home, Artist Sales. <laughs> also posted on his IG story. About time you wear a mask. I bet you the baby mama was like, you dirty, wear a mask. You know? <laughs> Shit. Look at his beard though. Why isn't his beard covered? I'm surprised that the hospital allowed him to be in there with just the mask. I work at a hospital, y'all. When you have a beard, you're supposed to wear that beard mask too, okay? What's going on with y'all? Good to see Chris Sells is actually taking responsibility for this baby. Now, if it is his baby, I don't know, but I can only assume he knows because he seems happy, so I'm guessing he took a DNA test. I'm guessing the baby looks like him. So it's really good to see that he's taking responsibility for the child. And Italia doesn't seem like the girl to roll over and accept Chris's boot. So if Chris do something stupid with the child, I'm sure she will put him in his place. By the way, I just be... By the way, from what I heard, is that he hasn't done the DNA test yet. But I guess he did say that if it wasn't his child, his biological child, that he would still take full responsibility because he was there to see the baby born. Now, do I believe that's gonna actually happen? I don't think so. I think he's gonna be hurt, but I don't think he's gonna be there for the rest of that boy's life. If it ain't his. In organic blueberries, so my lips are blue. I pop, that's why they're blue or black looking. I've been eating organic berries, just so you know. A couple of YouTube you sure about that, Martin? Are you sure about that? <laughs> couple by the name of Brenton and Kobe have recently broken up, okay? They had over 300,000 subscribers. Brenton ends up making a video, right? So he ended up making a video explaining about their breakup. But the thing is, Kobe wasn't in the video. So a lot of people are like, what the hell is going on? Why isn't Kobe in the video too? Because that's what couples usually do when they break up. They have a goodbye message to their fans. They let them know what's going on. Her last post on Instagram was some video from like ages ago in March. People were leaving comments under her post even saying, how come you haven't been posting? <laughs> I swear to God, y'all, social media is getting out of control. If you stop posting about your partner, something's going on. Sometimes you've been with your partner for so long, you don't want to post every little thing that happens. You guys, social media is not exactly real life. People just post what they want you to see, what they want you to know. And this couple that he's speaking of, I don't know who the fuck they are. If you know, comment below and let me know their story because I have no clue. Can you find Donna from Donna and Brenton? By that name, let's have all the acts. Hate mob asylum. He basically had a conspiracy that she's gone missing and she he ain't the only one. And I can see why people thought that because how all of a sudden he make a video she gone. She like you make a video that you broke it up and then she's not there. Social media is not there. Like that's really weird, right? Well, my team did a little bit of investigating Where's they she went at? to her Instagram and Where's they found she at? that her TikTok was on her Instagram page. And this is what we found on her TikTok. <laughs> Now, 
actually be the other way around. That should be her fans at the door going, oh. Where the fuck so you, you been? Got a new man. This is what it is. This is what it is. Damn. Yeah, she has a new boyfriend now, and I guess she's doing TikTok. It is quite sad that she didn't have like a goodbye to you guys. But then again, the real fans would have been following all her social yeah, media. Yeah. If you guys followed her social media, you would have known what happened. Like, that's why you need to follow She's all cuddled up. Do you know how it is when you break up with somebody and you found somebody new and you just disappear out of nowhere? You're just all cuddled up right now. You're enjoying your time, your days with this person. Sometimes you just gotta excuse yourself from the world. Nothing wrong with that. On Twitter, I'm Martin MPL. My Instagram, the real Martin Lewis. My T page. Mata Lewis leads. If you want me to talk about stuff, you send it to them. Follow me on my Instagram pages. What if I go missing? <laughs> I go missing tomorrow. Um, my channel gone. Bye. What you do? <laughs> you go follow me, okay, stupid? Oh, wait, my team video. Oh, you, you fake. You don't follow me. You fake. You fake supporter. That's why you follow me anyway. Now, recently. Listen, I need y'all to know if I go missing too. Follow me on Instagram under bliss underscore uncensored. You never know. Looks like there's been some drama between Carmen and Nick. Carmen posted yesterday saying, Here we go. I want to leave. Hold on, here we go. This is the drama. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Carmen. Never come back. Sometimes I ask myself, am I leaving for someone else or for myself? Crazy how 9 out of 10 I protect other people's feelings before I protect mine. Corey also posted saying, Talk to me and won't know my personal problems anymore. I learned my lesson for that ish. A hundred. I wanna be numb. So <laughs> proud how much I matured. One hundred. And the plot thickens. Cause Nick ended up posting, Y'all won't believe this scandal. Ooh. Now, first I'm thinking, Ooh. okay, this seems a little bit fishy. This could be fake. As you guys know, Carmen has a new reality show coming soon. Well, YouTube reality show. Is this just to build hype around, you know, their name, their shows, or right. whatever? But a guy named Kobe, who has appeared in Nick's videos, which is a good friend of Nick, end up saying on Twitter, I shall shake a Nick dealing with these fake egg hoes in Houston. Nick ends up saying, people some snakes. Just know that. He also said, when I'm ready, I'll let that is be numb. Okay, you ready? Media and it looks like on Instagram, Nick isn't following Carmen and Carmen isn't following Nick. And this is a big deal. Nick and hey. Carmen have grown together on YouTube. Have grown successfully on YouTube from the help of Janae and all that and all their hard work. Remember, they used to live together under one roof when they first started this whole YouTube thing. And when they went their separate ways physically, they still kept in touch, y'all. So what's going on? So, they've shared this journey basically together and been in a lot of beef towards each other and grew from it, right? right. So, this is not just, oh, unfollow is nothing. No, it's something, bro. Especially when you have tweets out like this. Now, obviously, social media got a hold of this. We have two pages talking about it. I'll see O'Shea. Okay. YouTube channels are talking okay. about it. People started commenting. It's not tell comment did something to end their friendship. It must be bad because you got copy tweeting. To be honest, Nick said Carmen did something before last year that ruined their friendship, but she forgave her. And that's when they started doing that girlfriend ish on YouTube. So I would be surprised if Carmen did something again. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And hope Nick learned this time. Carmen was texting game. No. But I'm sorry. It's hard to concentrate on these tweets because Martin. <laughs> Boy, the way he's changing his voices for each comment is so funny. My friend is LaMail that literally just did a TikTok together. Now, I have to go check TikTok to see what this girl was talking about. They did not do a TikTok together together. It's actually just like you, like a reacting video on YouTube. Carmen uh, did basically a reaction duo thing okay. with Nick. It wasn't like, yeah, we're in the same video together. No, nothing like that. And it was also yesterday. It could have been before Carmen made her post. But anyway, Nick ended up saying this and deleted this. Oh. She said, See, so you guys, be careful with what you post. You think no one's paying attention? The second it's up, it only takes seconds for someone to screenshot that shit. So there's no point in deleting it. It's gonna make it look even worse. 
Harmony King F. Watch the Ethan Company UK. These bean snipes. Ooh. I she deleted that she tweeted. I don't even speak of my business like this, but B, I'm flabbergasted. What's more weird is Corey actually deleted all of his posts on Instagram. He could have archived it, but something is going on. Something looks sus. Something is going on in Houston. Now, let me give you my conclusion. Nick didn't say they did F. She said they supposedly. He also deleted huh. it. So I don't know if this was a way to be petty. Because those rumors did upset Carmen. I remember when she came in my DMs and she was like, why didn't you never question me? And I was like, Carmen. I defended you because I do believe that she never did. According to what I see, they never did anything. Mm -hmm. Plus, after the video went out, it got 200k views, by the way, that video I did. Nick and Carmen were still hanging out with each other. <laughs> he had to point out the fact of how successful that video was. So, 300k. If there was a problem, why would they continue hanging out with each other after that video aired. Right. And she did see my video and I did tell her like, yo, I was being sarcastic throughout the whole video. If you watch until the end, you would see that I debunked that rumor because I don't think it's true. I don't think Carmen is someone to cheat. And I don't think- I don't think, think so neither. she did it with Kim, but hey. I don't I think so neither. Wrong. Maybe she did, but the fact he said supposedly- Tells me that she has no proof that Carmen did do it with Kim. Okay. I honestly think she was just being petty. That's my opinion. Because why did she delete it? Why didn't she not just keep it up then? Whatever it is, I feel like they're acting out on their emotions. Something's up. And Nick is just acting out on social media. But hey, I could be wrong. Guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button with notifications on so you guys don't miss out on the update when I update you guys on the situation. Smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in another drama video. Did you slap her? Yeah, I did. To me, that's why you start breaking my house and start throwing no. sh I was responsible for this small, for something so small. And you took the anger on me. I'm gonna say this again. Everything started at your household. I will have everything explained in detail from the start in a series or one big video. I'm gonna wait for everything to come out first. This is gonna take time, so give it three to four days. Okay, and it says subscribe with notifications so you don't miss out on it. Well, you know, I'm gonna motherfucking react because I don't know if they fucked or not. Did they fuck or did they not? Yo, what was the point of this video? <laughs> Either way, he's gonna come out with a couple more videos, so I'm gonna react to him when it comes out because I wanna know what's going on. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.